नमस्कार आई एम डॉक्टर गोवर्धन गुप्ता कंसल्टेंट नेफ्रोलॉजिस्ट इन नारायण हॉस्पिटल जसर रोड कोलकाता ऑन ओकेजन ऑफ दिस इयर्स वर्ल्ड किडनी डे डब्ल्यू एच ओ हैज गिवेन द थीम ऑफ किडनी हेल्थ फॉर ऑल ऑन दिस पर्टिकुलर ओकेजन वी हैव गॉट डॉक्टर सुनील कुमार he is a renowned nephrologist and he has got tremendous experience in the field of nephrology today will be discussing and will be benefiting by his experience and uh, today's theme of the talk will be how to keep the uh, kidneys healthy in normal people and even in the people with some kidney diseases welcome to me sir thank you uh sir uh, i would like to take your opinion regarding this year's theme of who is it a means how do you find the theme of uh, theme given by who see this theme of uh, kidney health for all is very important because having uh, we have kidney patients throughout the population of world not just a particular region throughout the world the number of patients with kidney disease is increasing diabetes hypertension pain killers everything and the rampant uh, diabetes and hypertension in fact is leading to more numbers of patients with kidney disease and they are not just there in the urban population we see patients coming from the remotest of remote regions sometimes they are coming from village most of them even not just patients in fact sometimes the, their treating doctors won't even know about kidney and uh, so we need to educate each and every one so that we can save as many kidneys as possible so that not many patient reaches the late part of kidney treatment which is dialysis most of the kidney uh, uh, treatment if given at the appropriate time appropriate manner so kidney can be taken care of in the early stages with some medications only with particular like specifically like uh, 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 in the remote areas where there are no nephrologists no dialysis units so these are more important that is why uh, kidney health for all that suits this year's need for kidney health in the uh, each and every region of this world okay sir so you want to say ki uh, maximum chunk of the people who are having kidney disease they are deprived of the treatment because of lack of knowledge of the patient and sometimes of the their treating doctor also sir absolutely that is right because uh, to be very frank uh, that's uh, uh, data Uh, published in many uh, yes, reading sir. newspaper also that uh, most of most of our uh, doctors uh, healthcare infrastructure infrastructure they are based in urban settings while uh, is most of our population lives in the rural area and uh, in the similar fashion if you see the percentage of kidney disease is almost same in the rural and the urban area so the patients who lives in rural area they are the one who gets deprived of the renal care and usually out of this deprivation in the terms of infrastructure and the health professionals they end up coming late to the hospital mm -hmm. and which also not just produce a emotional but also a huge financial burden to them so if yeah. given a particular uh, treatment at the particular time they can be saved from the uh, uh, horrendous experience which they usually go through while in the late stage so sir so for the audience can you three uh, throw some light ki which are the target population or all the people in the population the all the population should undergo few uh, uh, investigation few tests on the routine basis or what should be those tests actually uh, some specific tests which is recommended to be done uh, at some regular interval sir absolutely this question uh, is very pertinent and very important question having said that kidney health for all doesn't mean that the whole world population need to undergo uh, a nephrologist opinion it just mean that we need to be careful about kidney we need to be careful about our uh, what we eat how much we exercise and specifically the, coming to your question who should get tested that is important those patient who are having a risk factor or a sign and symptom of kidney disease they should undergo a test jaise ki if i tell you jinko diabetes hai jinko blood pressure hai jinko kidney stone hai jinko uh, regular past history mein kabhi pain killer jinhone out of any reason arthritis or pain killers liya hua hai jinko family history hai kidney disease ki they should all undergo a kidney test uh, at least once and if they have kidney disease then at regular interval they should meet in a and apart from this 
कुछ पेशेंट्स ऐसे हैं नॉट एग्जैक्टली पेशेंट्स कुछ हमारी पॉपुलेशन में ढूंढेंगे तो कुछ लोग ऐसे हैं जिनको पाँव का फूलना सांस फूलना जल्दी थक जाना शरीर में खुजली होना रात के समय पेशाब ज़्यादा आना या फिर जो है पेशाब का कम हो जाना ये सब चीज़ों के पेशाब में बहुत ज़्यादा झाग आना ऑल दीज आर सिम्टम सजेस्टिव ऑफ किडनी डिसीज सो दीज आर द पीपल हु शुड अंडर गो एटलीस्ट फ्यू बेसिक टेस्ट फॉर किडनी डिसीज एंड बेसिक टेस्ट आर एक्चुअली वेरी बेसिक इज अ यूरिनारी यूरिनारी इज अ सिंपल यूरिन रूटीन एग्जामिनेशन विच कैन बी डन इन रिमोटेस्ट रिमोट एरिया ऑल्सो लाइक इवन अ विलेज फिजिशियन और स्मॉल लैब इन द रिमोट एरिया यू कैन गेट अ यूरिन आरी डन सिंपल serum creatinine done in case there is a problem meet your nephrologist don't hesitate sometimes uh, there is a common misconception i want to say it here today that going to a kidney doctor means you will be put on uh, dialysis or you will be uh, treated for kidney disease many a time uh, if i give you one example if i see like 30 patients in my opd in one day uh, 15 patients i usually tell them you do not do not need to come again you need to uh, continue treatment with your physician ki apne physician ko dikhao mujhe bas saal mein ek baar करके दिखाते रहो सो दैट बिकम्स वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो पेशेंट एंड एवरीबॉडी शुड नो दैट गोइंग टू अ नेफ्रोलॉजिस्ट मींस हैविंग एन एब्सोल्यूट पाथ क्लियर अहेड हाउ टू गो अबाउट योर किडनी नॉट दैट इट डजंट मीन गोइंग फॉर ट्रांसप्लांटेशन ऑफ किडनी सर एंड सर व्हाट आर द टेस्ट यू वर रिकमेंडिंग सर सो वन यूरिन रूटीन एग्जामिनेशन एनी सर ब्लड टेस्ट विल बी रिक्वायर्ड और जस्ट यूरिन रूटीन इज इनफ द गुड क्वेश्चन अबाउट फ्रॉम यूरिनरी एक सीरम क्रिएटिन वेरी बेसिक टेस्ट कैन बी डन एनीवेयर सो सीरम क्रिएटिन समटाइम वी आल्सो नीड अदर मोर इन्वेस्टिगेशंस लाइक ऑटोइम्यून वर्कअप एंड समटाइम रीनल बायोप्सी बट बिफोर दैट जस्ट अ क्रिएटिन यूरिनरी समटाइम एन अल्ट्रासाउंड दैट विल बी इनफ to tell us whether to go for for further testing or do we need to just counsel the patient there is no kidney disease eat well sleep well uh, uh, live an active healthy life that's all he or she needs uh, sir iske baad mein ek aur question tha jo logon ke liye bahut zaruri hoga ki peshab ka color the color of the urine ye itna important hai kya इसके अगर पेशाब का कलर बदल जाए कुछ दिनों पहले नॉर्मल आ रहा था अभी कुछ बदला हुआ आ रहा है तो उससे कुछ फर्क पड़ेगा या फिर कुछ बीमारी को हम लोग सोच सकते हैं सी दिस इज अ वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम योर साइड आई थिंक दिस शुड आल्सो आंसर शुड गो अक्रॉस नॉट जस्ट टू पेशेंट बट ऑल्सो टू द फिजिशियंस हु गेट्स अ चांस टू सी दिस वीडियो इन केस दैट नॉर्मल कलर ऑफ यूरिन इज एम्बर amber color it's like lightish yellow so sometime in the absence of uh, water intake when needed uh, like in mild dehydration it can reach a little bit more yellow so those who are severely dehydrated they will be having dark yellow to brown urine so that's basically an indicator of how much water intake is there so apart from this this is a basic thing in normal healthy population some patient will have like pyuria kyluria and uh, like multiple green colored urine uh, white colored urine so these are the one who need to be taken care of specifically with specific test so uh, having a change in the uh, color in the color of the urine doesn't always mean there is a disease but yes with particular history we can get to know there is some underlying disorder and maybe there is a history of uti sometimes there is a red color urine and patient is passing blood in the urine so we need to be careful about it we need to test appropriately treat for infections and that color will be fine there so uh, sir one more question was coming to in my mind for general people what are the steps what are the means precautions something uh, positive steps and something should be uh, should not be done Right. to keep our kidney healthy and the theme is indicated to uh, uh, our healthy kidney while uh, uh, that theme is there so accordingly do we uh, do you recommend any particular particular medicines to be taken on regular basis to keep our kidney healthy or do you recommend something should not be taken to keep our kidney healthy sir this is a, a very good uh, uh, question and uh, i think you also tell all your patients in your <laughs> opd that you be very careful about certain points there are five very important rules uh, rules of uh, practicing nephrology and also rules that we should be teaching each and every patients because being a doctor doesn't just mean giving medications being a doctor also means that we should be teaching our patients how to stay healthy so we need to tell them rule first is stay healthy and stay active daily 20 minute of exercise five days a week is important that will keep 
keep the circulation going on to all the uh, internal organs not just kidney it will also keep your brain your heart your vessels healthy so that is important 20 minutes of daily brisk walk apart from this good healthy diet avoid packet foods which has like excessive salt to uh, increase their shelf life shell life so avoid uh, eat the freshly cooked food avoid the uh, packed food which has high content of salt phosphorus and all and those patients who have diabetes and hypertension keep their blood sugar and blood pressure well controlled if they are not controlled you won't see any effect in the shorter term but after like many years the kidney starts to get affected it is known as memory effect even even if sugar and blood pressure is affected for let us say six months and thereafter it is affected the memory will be there the kidney will keep the memory that for a certain period like 10 years back the sugar was not controlled so these two important points of sugar and bp control fifth most important point is avoid painkillers avoid on the table counter on the counter medications don't take those medications without uh, advice from a doctor these are the common cause which i see in my opd patient turning up with the uh, uh, severe kidney disease and the only thing we find out is the he, had, he or she had a history of excessive painkiller out of certain reason so these are important things and one more uh, thing i would like to add in these points is women those child bearing women and the pregnant women uh, they also are required to undergo a kidney health checkup during pregnancy so which helps planning their uh, uh, delivery and uh, peripartum care uh, in the uh, context of their baseline kidney function so they should also undergo kidney function check so these are the important points if keep on in keeping keep on uh, if we keep that in our mind uh i think most of the patients can be taken care of in the periphery as well so uh, you ended the so your last talk with the periphery suppose sir, some patient is there in the periphery and uh, as recommended by you same creatinine urine uh, routine examination and the patient sees ki some abnormality is there so is there any way to approach the nephrology sitting in the narana hospital what will be the procedure just to make them Little, little, little easier how they will be approaching the department of nephrology in the narana health group sir. see uh, uh, this is a very simple answer to it you just give us a call we are always there for our patients so whatever is the issue even if you have a slightest of slight doubt about your kidney don't hesitate at least get it checked get it cleared that is just a doubt the only issue is when doubt is a doubt and there is a doubt on a doubt so that becomes a severe headache you just clear it come to a uh, hospital go to any nephrologist or uh, doctor govardhan as you are always here so you can come to the hospital any time and just have a talk that's the most important thing at the end of this uh, discussion i and uh, people have gathered a lot of information from dr sunil kumar i thank you dr sunil kumar to come to this talk and uh, i hope the people will stay healthy you can approach us me or dr sunil kumar at any point of time if you have any doubt regarding your kidney problems thank you namaskar namaskar